can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, she has teeth or something in there. I want to welcome you to BTR Outdoors. And on this episode, am I still in love with this Teton Extra Extra Large Camping Cot? Well, stay tuned. We'll find out. All right. I have had this cot for almost three years now, almost to the day. And before I let you know if I'm still in love with this cot or not, I want to give a brief description of the cot and some of its pros and cons that I've experienced over the past three years using this cot. Okay, this is the Teton Outfitter Extra Extra Large Camping Cot. This thing is massive. Um, it is 86 inches long, 45 inches wide, and has a height of 19.5 inches tall. It does have the pivot arm, which I'll give you a dis uh, description of that later. It has reinforced steel legs, and I'll give you a better uh, look at that later also. It's called the S-Leg Design. This thing supports up to 600 pounds. Has the Oxford canvas, which is held up really well. Even with Ronan slobbering on it, I don't know what he was doing. Has an aluminum frame, which keeps the weight down to 26 pounds. Has a lifetime warranty. It has the carrying case. And like I said, it has the steel legs for the support and the aluminum frame. Okay, this is showing you the steel frame underneath. It has the S-leg design, which this is made out of steel. Alright, this is the patented pivot arm. And I'll show you how it works. Just stick it in the uh, hole, match red to red, and pull down. And that keeps the cot super tight. All right, let's go over the pros and cons of this cot. All right, let's go over some of the pros. Probably the number one pro of this cot is it's massive. It's like sleeping on a twin size bed almost it's super large and for big guys especially like me makes it real comfortable second is it's super steady with the uh, steel legs it doesn't shake much while you're in it the canvas is super tight with the pivot arm so and it's held up especially for three years it's held up really well. Probably the next pro for me, and I'm probably going to get a lot of people disagree with this, is because I see a lot of comments that they don't like this, but I love the bag that it comes with. It's not like those uh, little chair bags that you get where you got to stuff it in from the top. The bag opens up at the top and you just put everything inside of it. I really enjoy this bag it makes it so much easier for me probably another pro is the accessories it comes with um, you can get the pad that comes for this cot there's a tent i think it's called the vista one that you can uh, mount on top of this cot um, it has side satchels so you can store all your goods it even has underneath storage that you can have so this thing has several accessories that you can have for this cot all right so let's go over the cons the one thing I've noticed about this cot is the screws that connect the steel frame to the aluminum frame they get super loose um, every once in a while I have to go around and tighten them all down it's not a real big hassle but you know I don't want it breaking so you do have to check on these screws because they will get loose somebody did say you could probably put some type of Loctite on them 
to keep them from doing that. And that's something I still haven't done, but I really need to do it. Probably the next con is compared to some of the other cots, the pivot arm is a little bit harder to do. Um, in the video, I gave a description and it worked out perfect. But sometimes if it's not set in real level, it gets in a little bind and it's really hard to lock in the frame because the cot is so tight once it's locked in. That's why it has to have that pivot arm. But some of the other cots that I've noticed sure does have a lot more easier to use or user friendly pivot arm. And probably the third con, if I had to say anything, is probably the cost. Right now, this cod is coming in at $189 on the Teton site and Amazon, which I know when we bought it three years ago, we did, we did not pay that much. I think it was $129. Some, I'm really not sure, but I know it wasn't $189. You pay for quality, and that's true for this cod. It is really a high quality cot. My wife came up with a, a con that with the 19 and a half inch height of this cot, she is a lot shorter than me and it's a little hard for her to get off of. So for shorter people, this might be a little bit harder to, to get off of. Okay, I am 6'2" and the half is perfect for me to get out of the cot with uh, pretty much ease. But a shorter person would have a little bit more difficulty getting out of this cot. Okay, with all the information that I was given to you, the pros and cons, the description of the cot, my final answer is I still love this cot. It's an awesome cot. I really do enjoy this thing. It's massive. It's really well put together. I'm a big guy, so it, it holds my frame. I can always get a comfortable night's sleep using this cot. It doesn't move around. And so I have to say after three years, I really enjoy this cot. So, and Probably the biggest thing is being comfortable when I'm camping and doing what I love is all that matters to me. And this thing is very comfortable. So I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We're almost at 700 subscribers now. So thank you for that. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, and leave a comment. And until next episode, I'll catch you later. Okay, when I was <laughs> filming, or Tracy was filming me, she started making fun of me because I said I love this cot a reminder of her song and she's gonna sing it I love this cot it's so comfy it doesn't rot <laughs> I don't know what else rhymes with it uh, I love this cot I don't know hey, not bad not bad <laughs> I'm not good on the fly Oh, I got him on video. <laughs> okay. All right.